Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how to migrate Google Analytics into Google Tag Manager. But before we get started as always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you want to follow along with this week's video I got a little extra for you on the gtmtraining.com slash tag plan you can download the tag plan that we are talking about in this video for free all you need to do is copy this document into your google drive folder so if you want to have that template head over to gtmtraining.com slash tag plan now it all starts here with the actual process and the steps we need to go through in order to migrate google analytics successfully first of all it's always advisable to have a plan of what you're doing so in the first step we'll have a migration plan that we'll plan in our tag plan sheet, an overview of which tags need to be migrated over to Google Tag Manager. In the second step, we will prepare all our different tags in Google Tag Manager and then switch over to the new version and remove the existing Google Analytics tracking. And in the end, of course, we'll do a little bit of quality assurance to ensure that our data is tracked correctly. So let's get started. Now back at our demo store, the first step would be to determine which tags are actually on our page at the moment. We have a fairly simple implementation here where we just have Google Analytics installed and I went ahead already and installed our Google Tag Manager snippet. If you wanna know how to install Google Tag Manager, I also prepared a video on that which you can watch. Now the tag assistant only shows us the tags that we have in here from the Google products. If you want to find out if there are any other tags installed on your page, I would recommend to you the extension WASP, which will show you tags from all the different vendors out there and can make this auditing of your current site much easier. But for our purposes, we just need a tag assistant because today we just want to migrate our existing Google Analytics installation. And we have our Google Analytics tag here installed. You can even click into it and see which different configurations were made to the tag in order to find out if there are any configurations that we need to port over to our Google Tag Manager installation. And it's always advisable to write that down somewhere. So I made up a tag template, which you can also download on the gtmtraining.com slash tag plan and pull your copy of this document. Now, important is that you document which different tags need to be migrated over to Google Tag Manager. And in this process, I would always encourage you to also write down what this tag is actually all about. It also is a best practice to document which tags you have currently installed on your Google Tag Manager account. And this information will help anyone who wants to know which tags are currently deployed on your website to get a quick overview in a spreadsheet. So for example, here we have a Google Analytics page view tag it's our UA tag, it's deployed on every page and with the configuration, cross domain tracking or custom variables, etc., etc. I would also go through and look if there are any event trackings already available in your account, which you need to migrate, conversion tracking, but you could spin this even further to retargeting tags and so on. And obviously this is just a template, a sample for you guys. If you want to change it in any capacity, you're free to do so on your own copy. Now, once you have your tag plan in place and did an audit of all the tags that are on your site, then you can go ahead and prepare the migration. Now, obviously Google Tag Manager needs to be installed, which I went ahead and did here already. We can go over to our Google Tag Manager account and start putting tags in place. Now, since this is just Google Analytics, I'll just go ahead and recreate our tag. Go here to our new tags, name this appropriately. Choose 
choose as a product Google Analytics. We have the Universal Analytics running and choose our tracking ID, which we will find in our Google Analytics account. Now, since I'm going to use this number probably more often if I install events, I'll go ahead and build a new variable, which will be a constant variable and it will be our analytics ID. Paste that in here, create this variable. And every time this tag gets called, our variable will fill in this placeholder here. The track type will stay page view, will continue. And as the trigger, I will choose the all pages trigger. We create this tag and go into our preview and debug mode. Now we can go back to our page, reload our page. Now we can see that our Google Analytics tag just fired just fine. When we go to the tag assistant by Google, we also see that Google Analytics was fired successfully. But when we click into it, we see there have been two page views requested. We can also control this in our Google Analytics. Once we go to the reporting and then under real time reporting, we see there were two page views requested, which is not ideal, but logical because we have still a hard coded version of, of our analytics tracking running. And additional to that, we have our Google Analytics page view tag that we just deployed through Google Tag Manager. So before we publish this to all the users, we obviously need to go ahead and remove our hard coded version of our Google Analytics tracking. Otherwise, we run into the problem that we might double track all our users. And if you're a single webmaster, this shouldn't be a problem to you. You can just log into your current installation and then you can edit the template in the background to remove your actual hard-coded Google Analytics tracking and at the same time publish this as a version to all the users. But unfortunately, as it is with migrations on bigger sites, you don't have direct access to the template of your site and therefore you need to advise maybe somebody from the IT or an outside agency to remove this code. And then it gets tricky to coordinate with them when you have to click on this publish button because ideally it needs to be at the same time when they remove the hard-coded version of Google Analytics. But there's actually a little trick that we can use which comes in form of a custom variable. And this custom variable can be found on Simo Ahava's blog under check if Google Analytics is in the page template and he describes when this is useful, especially if you have still a hard-coded version of Google Analytics installed. He has written a custom variable, which we can copy and then go over to our Google Tag Manager account under variables. We can build our new custom JavaScript variable just input his text here and we can give it a name like GA in template. And we can create this variable. And once we refresh our preview and debug mode and go over to our demo shop again, then we can look under variables. And let's choose an event here and see GA and template is true, which means there is somewhere a GA code still hard coded onto our page. And we can use this variable to block our current GA tag. And as soon as the GA template turns false, 
deploy our tag automatically. So how would we do that? Let's go over to Google Tag Manager. First of all, from our variable, build a trigger. Let's call this GA in template trigger. We want to check for this template upon the page view. And the trigger type is also page view because that's also the trigger type of our all pages trigger. Let's continue here. And then we only want to turn this whole trigger true when our GA in template equals true. We create this trigger. And now we can use this trigger in our actual tag for an exception. So we can go under the fire on option and add this new trigger to our exceptions. So, which means this tag won't fire if GA is in the template. We can go ahead and save this tag. Try it all out. Let's refresh our preview and debug mode. Let's go back to our demo shop and see if our Google Analytics tag is firing. No, it's not. Why is it not firing? Let's click on the tag. Let's click on page view first. Let's click on the tag and then go down to our firing triggers. And we see that the blocking rule turned true because GA is and it equals true. So this blocking trigger will prevent our tag from firing double times if it's already hard coded. And we can go ahead and publish this to all the users out there. Let's publish this. All right. At this point, we can advise our outside agency or our IT team that they can go ahead and remove the hard-coded version of our Google Analytics tracking. Now let's simulate this here. I'll go into my template and simply delete the hard-coded version from the header PHP file and update this file. Now once we go back to our demo shop and reload this page, our Google Analytics tag from Google Tag Manager fired correctly because right now there is no more hard-coded version of Google Analytics on the site. And we see that this tag fired only one page view and it was implemented through Google Tag Manager. And that's how you can get a seamless transition from a hard-coded version to a version that is deployed through Google Tag Manager without losing any data or having a delay between taking this hard-coded version off the site and you deploying it through a version on Google Tag Manager. Now we can do a little bit of quality control by going to Google Analytics into the real-time reporting again. Let's create a page view here and see if the page view comes in correctly. Here we go, it's just one page view and our Google Analytics tracking is working correctly. Obviously, if you have other tags that you are deploying in this migration, you would need to test them as well. Now in the last step, we are sure that our Google migration went well and we can go ahead and for the next version, we can actually delete the exception of the GA in template trigger because now everything is working in Google Tag Manager. Let's save this and again publish this as a version to all our users. So here you have it, we went through all the steps. We planned our migration in a tag plan. Then we prepared our migration with a special exception trigger from Seymour Ahava so we can detect whether our hard-coded version was taken off the site or not. And then we switched it all live, waited till our hard-coded version was deployed and did a little bit of quality assurance if our tracking is working as expected in the real-time reporting of Google Analytics. And that's already it with this week's video of gtntraining.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel 
And if you have questions, leave them below in the comments. If you want to download the tag plan that we've discussed in this episode, head over to gtmtraining.com slash tag plan. I'm Julian, till next time.